Rip, switch back. Okay. And do you recognize uh, where this is, Mr. Patterson? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, and does that look like a, a clip from um, the surveillance video in the elevator at ECB? Yes. And does it accurately portray the scene? When you, I, I, I don't know what you mean by scene. Does, does it look like ECB, like the elevator at ECB? Yes. And is this is the quality of this a little bit grainy as well? As it's displayed right now, yes. Um, and do the time, the date and time stamps look accurate, like ECB keeps in the regular course of business? Yes. And um, could we please play the video so we can see who's getting on? And do you recognize those people getting on the elevator, Mr. Pattinson? Yes, I do recognize Mr. Depp. And uh, is smoking permitted on elevators at ECB? No, it's not. Let's move to Exhibit 8, please. Do you recognize this this uh, as ECB video footage? Yes. And do you recognize the men on the elevator? As I previously mentioned, uh, Mr. Depp only. And um, do those date and time stamps look accurate? Yes. How would you describe Mr. Depp's movements on this elevator? Uh, I'll use the description animated again. Is, is he also swaying from side to side? Does this footage generally look like the footage that, that you preserved from 2016? Yes. Let's move to exhibit. Do you recognize this area? Yes. What is it? What, what is it? Uh, this is the same shot that was previously shown, uh, the mezzanine vestibule. And is it shot from one of the ECB surveillance cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the ones that was preserved since 2016? Yes. Um, and do the date and time stamps look accurate as far as you know? Yes. Um, and were you responsible for pulling this security footage generally? Generally, yes. And do you recognize the people in, the, in that video? Excuse me. Uh, I do recognize Mr. Depp. And what's Mr. Depp holding? It appears to be a jacket. And how would you describe how he's holding it? 
with his left hand. And if we could please move to exhibit 11. And do you recognize this as, as ECB surveillance footage? Yes. And where was that footage taken? Uh, this is back in the mezzanine vestibule uh, between the building and the garage. The last part, vestibule what? Between the building and the garage. And was this one of the videos that was preserved since 2016 by ECB? I don't recall this specific clip, but yes, this, this is video that was preserved. And do the date and time stamps look accurate? Like they would be on ECB footage? Yes. Do you recognize those people? Uh, I rec recognize Mr. Depp. And does Mr. Depp appear to be leaving the building? That would be the pathway from the building into the garage. And does this look like tr uh, true and accurate footage from the ECB videos? Stay with us while we take a quick break. Court TV's cameras are in this trial live. We'll take you right back on the other side. With Worthy.com. I'm Julia Janae in Portland, Oregon for the romance novelist murder trial. And this is Court TV, your front row seat to justice. And this front row seat to justice is in Fairfax, Virginia this afternoon, where Court TV's own cameras are the cameras live in court. And Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. At the heart of this domestic violence allegations, we're going to go back to court. The third witness is on the stand. This is the apartment manager for the apartments where Johnny Depp lived. Let's take you back to court. I recognize them as officers. Um, and... Does the date and time stamp look accurate as far as you know? Yes. Move to exhibit 16, please. Does this also appear to be a um, ECB surveillance camera footage? Yes. And do you recognize the per that person who just left the elevator? I do not. Um, and does this generally appear to be one of the ones that have been preserved since 2016 at ECB? Yes. And as far as you know, does the date and time stamp look accurate? Yes. And for all of these clips that you've seen, they look, they, do they appear to you to be true and accurate copies of the footage that have been preserved? These seem very grainy and slow to me um, from what I remember. But this, these are taken from Eastern Columbia video cameras during this time. And preserved since that time at ECB? Correct. And they were preserved in the same condition? Yes. Um, can we please pull up exhibit 17? And do you recognize this as a clip uh, from one of the ECB surveillance cameras that's been preserved since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate? Yes. And does that accurately portray the, the elevator scene at ECB? Yes. Um, and can we move to uh, Exhibit 18, please? But do you recognize this is ECB uh, security footage that's been preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. And it looks like an accurate uh, copy of what was preserved. As far as you know? As far as I know, yes. And the date and timestamp, as far as you know, look accurate? Yes. Please move to exhibit 19. And Mr. Patterson, do you know whether or not any of these uh, timestamps are a few seconds off here or there or not? I believe there uh, is a few second time discrepancy. And do you know what? Do you know why there would be a few second time discrepancy, or? I don't know the reason behind it now. Okay. Um, 
And um, did you recognize that video clip as one of the videos that has been preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. And, and does that appear to be an accurate copy of one of the surveillance copies that have been preserved? Yes. And as far as you know, that the date and timestamp is, is reasonably accurate, you know, with a couple seconds uh, margin? Yes. And please move to exhibit 20. And do you recognize this as one of the videos that have been uh, taken at ECB, one of by a surveillance camera at ECB? Yes. And is the, are these one of the videos that have been preserved by ECB uh, since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, uh, within a, a few seconds, is that date and time stamp accurate? As far as I know, yes. And those appear to be two officers leaving the, leaving ECB? Yes. And move to exhibit 21, please. Do you recognize where this is? Yes. And, and what does it look like to you? Uh, this is the same shot from the kiosk camera outside of the lobby on Broadway. Is it shot from one of the surveillance cameras at ECB? Yes. And does that appear to be one of the clips that's, that uh, has been preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and timestamp accurate as far as you know? Yes. Exhibit 22. Can we move to that, please? And does this appear to be, uh, this clip appear to be taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And which camera? Uh, this is the lobby, one of the lobby cameras. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was uh, preserved at ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and did the, as far as you know, is the date and timestamp uh, accurate? Yes, within a few seconds. And were those two officers walking in, in, in this video? Yes, those appear to be two officers. Or does this look like how the law We're going to bring in our special guest, legal analyst in Los Angeles, former trial and appellate attorney, Dr. Tracy A. Pearson. Thank you, Tracy, for joining us. Let's talk about this testimony. First of all, they are watching a deposition, and they, that is testimony under oath, and that's why it's being seen virtually. But the important question for me here is, why do you think, Tracy, that they are taking... Um, all this time to introduce videos that really don't seem to show anything of any significance about Johnny Depp. Well, they don't seem to show anything of significance about Johnny Depp on certain days. Um, and I think that what they're trying to do is they're trying to establish that um, that that he isn't the person that Amber Heard uh, is going to describe him or has described him to be uh, to the jury. Um, you know, this is ultimately a family law case. This is a divorce case uh, within a defamation case. And so what we have is two Hollywood celebrities that are going to start slinging dirt at each other. And he is trying to establish himself as not being um, the, the menace that Amber Heard claims he is. And I will say this, that not only is it divorce, but also at the heart of this case is domestic violence. I mean, the very first witness, his own sister admitted that she would get him a separate hotel room at the very beginning of his relationship, really, with Amber Heard because of the fighting. And that way he could go to his own room. So you really have some, I think we're going to see a lot of allegations at each other about domestic violence at the heart of this. So when we watch that, the other thing I noticed, tell me if you picked up on this, Tracy, that they made... Um, great detail out of the fact that on the elevator when there are three men that the apartment manager could identify Johnny Depp and that he was holding the jacket in his left hand. So I always wonder, are they going to try to fit all these little pieces together to say he couldn't have hit her, he didn't hit her, his hand wasn't bandaged, he was able to hold things. Do you think that in this trial they are going to get that detailed about all the specific allegations being made? 
Yeah, they they are going to have to. They're going to have to figure out how to, you know, how they're going to lay a thread, if you will, so that in the end, when when they do their closing arguments, they'll be able to take that thread and they'll be able to tie it into a nice bow. And so that the fact that they're pulling out that fact that he was holding the jacket in that particular hand when he gets on the elevator um, is something that is of significance to to establishing uh, a defense to a counterclaim that Amber Heard is making. All right. I'm